Hey, the content used in this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. All rights to the images, music, clips, and other materials used belong to their respective owners. I do not claim ownership over any third party content used in this video. Let's get to the video, dog. Hey, yo, baby D. Get your little ass over here on the mic, man. Show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew, man. Spit that shit. Shit on gold, gold, shine, gold, glasses, prime time like Dion. Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. October 24th, 5 a.m. Um, I don't even know why I decided to make this video, man. But uh, I guess it was just me seeing all the little breakfast club stuff that's going on with the homie Young Troll and uh, K-Dub, who, uh, who's also out of Mississippi. I just learned that about K-Dub. He's out of uh, Cleveland, Mississippi. Uh, Y'all know I'm from the... Delta area, Mississippi as well, you know what I'm saying, shout out to everybody in Lexington, but um, yeah man, uh, I seen the stuff that was going on with Dro man, and I think um, a lot of people got Dro all the way messed up, and I all the way bent to the left, you feel me, uh, man, Dro been that truth, boy, I'm talking about Dro nigga, the one Montreal heart man, the one been the hottest spitter out of Atlanta. If you really a, a lyricist head, you really an MC lover, you really a big rap fan that really like bars, man, you already know where, where Dro is at on the list, bro. I don't think there's too many people in the rap industry besides Wayne, besides Lil Flip, a few cats from the East Coast, um, a couple of guys from the West Coast that can even touch Dro when it comes to rapping, bro. I'm talking about bar for bar, talking about crazy wordplay. Uh, man, the boy's influence on the game as far as uh, the trends that he set when it comes to the, uh, the colorful Fruit Loop, banana milkshake, flip flop paint job, crazy. Polo clothes wearing, crazy wordplay that he just put together. Man, it ain't too many people in the game that's even seeing Young Dro. And I think it's time, bruh, that we finally give Dro his just due and put that boy on the Mount Rushmore of lyricists, bro. Because he carved his own lane out and he hugged the lane. You know what I'm saying? You know how they go around the corner in NASCAR? Wasn't nobody passing that boy. But I don't think he got the just do that he was supposed to get due to a bunch of legalities and contracts that he signed. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to, you know, shed a little light on 
how that boy Dro ain't nothing to be played with on no microphone, as far as trend setting, as far as having the baddest bras in the game. We just going to, you know, tap into it a little bit, man. You know, I ain't no documentarian, but uh, I just want to expound a little bit up on uh, why people need to put some respect on that boy Dre name. So uh, let's get into it, bro. All right, no further ado. Let's go. Dro. Oh, God, let's start off with the trend setting, bro. Like, who do you know? that was doing the polo, stupid crazy, stupid player, stupid hood people was wearing polo, stupid caps, stupid polo shoes, stupid sweaters tied around their neck, stupid lineup, stupid waves, stupid just looking like Carlton Banks, post Carlton Banks. When people was watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Nobody was dressing like Carlton Banks. Nobody but porn dexters and people that go to private schools, bro. Everybody wanted to wear J's and the colorful shirts and all the stuff that uh, Will Smith had on. Everybody wanted to be Will. Nigga, only when Dro came out as a straight hood nigga with gold teeth in his mouth, did niggas just say, damn that nigga fresh <laughs> That nigga fresh is a bitch. And, bro, I'm telling you, from a Jackson and a down south perspective, if you had them malls that you walk into, bro, boy, niggas used to be in Dillard's, tearing the clearance rack up. Man, when them polos was like $50, and you could get like 50% off them motherfuckers, like $25 a, a, a polo shirt. Man, everybody was rocking polo. And still do. How many people you know that set a trend like that? I can name a few. Soldier Slim with the Soldier Reeboks. Cash Money with the T's. Uh, Jabos and the Reeboks. Uh, Master P and them had people doing the camouflage. Uh, them niggas up New York, they had people wearing the Timberland boots, which is still going on. Uh, Dipset. They had they movement with the ripped jeans and all that. Um, who else? You feel me? Like the boys out west, they got the Dickies and, you know what I'm saying, the Chuck Taylors. And the boys had the, got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. All that. But you got to put Young Dro in that same category of trendsetter. Like, even though niggas don't give him his props. That nigga set the trend for what's going on today in Atlanta, man. Nigga still rocking polo. Whenever you need to go to a a job interview, right? Whenever you need to go somewhere where it's um, casually dressed, but you don't want to put on no tuxedo, what a nigga go to thing is? Shit, nigga, I grab the grab the Cardi glasses, throw the polo on, and some some little loafers. You feel me? And I can spiff it up if I want to and throw a sweater over it. Who started that? Carlton Banks started it. Young Dro brought it to the hood, bro. And niggas is still doing it to this day, bro. That's trend setting, bro, to another level. And niggas got to give Dro his props. Now I'm just saying. Now our introduction to Dro was through the... Uh, the Grand Hustle, the Grand Hustle team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, PSC, you know what I'm saying? Pimp Squad Click with T.I. and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mac Boney and Big Country Kane and, you know, all these guys, man. Uh, and Dro held his own. You know, he always had his own style when everybody else was talking about gangster shit. Dro was all about. <laughs> Bars, nigga. He was spitting bars. Nigga, I'm talking about bars. He wasn't no punk. He let you know he'll beat your ass up and he'll put that fire on you. But Dro was a, a rapper. Dro was a lyricist, bro. And uh, he held his own, bro. It was so many tracks that this man just got on tracks with some of the people that you would think, okay, 
It's going to be a a, a, a a bar for bar battle on this song right here. And they would get on the train with Dro, and Dro would just outshine these people, man, and just make them look like beginners in rap, bro. Like, this song right here. Have you ever heard this song, Kimo Sabi by Doby that had T.I. and Birdman on it and B.O.B.? If you haven't heard that song, Kimo Sabi, bro, I'm going to give you a, a, a quick little uh, uh, snippet of what Dro did on this track, bro. Watch this right here. Two bitches in a Barbies. One on Lenny and one on Barbies. Fifty holes in the lobby. Chain gold in this Versace. On like whoa, Kimo Sabi. Kimo Sabi. Big ballin' is uh, my hobby. Uh, chop off on that boy. G4 jet that boy. Pad me the ball on store. Fuck your bitch, she hoin'. Got two or three bitches up in Pittsburgh. Three plus three, that's Sid Bird. 24 plus 21, that's 4-5. That what I keep on my side. If a nigga try to run up in my house, I'ma blow his head back outside. And even if the fuck nigga look wrong, I'ma knock the pussy nigga cock guy. Then don't be gon' show him how to rock guy. Then verse so hot, I'm finna hop out. Ain't bomb, man, I'm finna go beast mode. Tell the DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ bring it back. Tell the 
So many songs I be forgetting that Dro did, man. That see, that's the thing with like our legends, bro. It be so much music coming out every month, every year. That all the classic hits that we be vibing to in that moment, we just forget about them, bro. And that make us forget about who made us feel a certain type of way, man. Hit our soul, man. Bring back great memories like when rich homie corn passed bro you know what i'm saying nigga had to turn that my nigga ben hustler trying to make him something I ain't no telling what he'll do for the pain and that shit just bring you back to some like oh nigga i'm feeling it you know what i'm saying that shit made you feel some type of way just like he said boy and the same thing with our legends like drove, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, when I was in fucking college and shit, you know what I'm saying? Doing my little shit. Nigga, that, that nigga had so much of an impact on my life, nigga. I used to see, I always been a working nigga. So, nigga, when this nigga came out, I was able to goddamn go to dealers, nigga, and buy them polos because I was still staying at my mama and my stepdad house, nigga, so I was able to go to dealers and buy three, four polos at a time, nigga, spend seven five Hood, hours, rich, nigga, hood. You know what I'm saying? I was able to buy the J's with the ripped jeans to match every polo, you nigga, so that shit hit a certain place for me, man, and like, these niggas trying to flank on my nigga on Breakfast Club and shit. I'm like, boy, boy, you better stop, boy. That drove that nigga, boy. Nigga, please. You know what I'm saying? That's how I met my my best homeboy, my OG partner. You know what I'm saying? Fucking around, you know what I'm saying? And I was wearing so much polo back then, man. And people knew me for wearing polo shirts with Abercrombie uh, pants or uh, American Eagle pants, or Express pants, or Hollister pants, and some J's. I had some J's to match every fucking polo that I was going to put on for that day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If it was blue and white, I had some blue and white J's with some ripped jeans from 
one of them companies, Aeropostale, Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, Express, Hollister, all that shit. Man, that shit hit a certain spot for me, bro. When you talk Dro to me, I don't know about nobody else, bro, but Dro was that nigga for me, bro. Dro, Dro put me on to some pop your collar type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, not t-shirt type shit no more, because I, I went through that phase, too, where you go get the side-eye t-shirt from the Jew Man store, and you motherfucker got the tight neck on it, and you gotta make sure it hit just right, I don't want no stretched out neck, bro, you feel me? Nigga, he put me on the polos, nigga, man, drove forever a legend, bro, I don't, I don't care what nobody say, you ain't gotta like this video or nothing, nigga, drove a legend to me, bro, and I remember what these songs did for me in the times they did them for me, man, so, hey, I'm just trying to you know, tell people that don't know about him. You know what I'm mean? saying? You don't really know about Dro. You know what I'm saying? Dro was the best thing smoking. That was that light green thing. You feel me? Nigga ain't had Kush. Nigga had Dro. Okay. If you know, you know. Hey, boy. And that boy Dro had the females, yeah. Ooh. Nigga, that nigga had Fantasia, nigga. I'm talking about Aunt Fantasia back when Fantasia was fresh on the scene. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about straight country fed, still talking country, fresh in the game. Ain't nobody really had her like that. And she a hood chick. So all the hood niggas wanted her. Why was this boy Dro the one that was able to bag her and hold her down like that? Now, my nigga say he the one that messed it up. So he could have bagged Fantasia and had on some Beyonce shit. You feel me? Look at that boy. That boy had Fantasia, boy. She just had to get her mind right and give her somebody that was going to treat her right because my boy was still wilding. But that just shows you the stature of a person that Dro was. Nigga be thinking Dro was a play the background nigga. Man, Dro was that boy, man. Stop playing, bro. <sniffs> nigga had Fantasia, bro. Come on. I come through real sexy walking, but of course I go straight to dancing. No, you hate to keep a straight shoe blocking. Don't give a fuck if your man is watching. Bitch, you make it cause I'm straight up married. I love my man cause he do me nasty. I love my man cause he do me nasty I like the way you are 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 Me llamo Jocelyn, yo soy bien linda De Puerto Rico, yo soy boricua Yo tengo clase, me gusta el baile De cha cha cha, de cha 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 Dame tu cuerpo porque me gusta bailar Hey, all I'm saying, bro, is uh, don't let the homie pass away or, you know what I'm saying, something happen to the homie before you tell him how much you really F with him and how much he was a big impact to your life. Because as we see, man, brothers is passing away every day. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't getting no alert when they about to pass away. So if somebody was an influence in your life, bro, don't let them have to get their flowers when they go to the burial grounds, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell homie how great he was, how much he influenced your life. Some of y'all niggas will still be wearing Azad and USPA. You know what I'm saying? My girl called that shit. Uh, what she called that shit? Nah, she called Chaps. Cheap ass polo shirts. C H A P S. Cheap ass polo shirts. <laughs> hey. Man, put some respect on my nigga Dro name, man. 100, we out, man. I'm finna eat some real tea. I gotta go to work tonight. Peace.